Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 5th of 2021, well, it is titled Tycho and Clavius. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken of the moon. And as most telescopes will invert the image, we do know that south is to the up, upper portion of this image. So we're looking towards the southern part as we go towards the top of the image. And northern would be well off the bottom section. Now there's two craters and in fact many craters here but two primary craters that we're mentioning and one is Tycho. Tycho is the crater in the center and it is a relatively fresh new crater. So it's almost centered in this image. You can see a distinct central peak and the crater walls around and what we notice is that it is very unworn down. This is how we know it's new. So without even being on the moon, we can t tell the age of the crater or at least a relative age of the crater and know that it is much younger than the things around it. We see things like some of the ejecta bright colors around the edges of it where material was dug out in the impact and the rays stretching across the moon's surface out for out from this. So when the impact occurs material is thrown up. Uh, off the surface of our moon and then spreads out in ray patterns and you can still see that distinct light colored pattern of rays stretching outward from this crater especially down towards the Maria on the right hand side and off towards cratered regions on the left. Now the other thing that we see is another crater that is a little bit to the north of this which is the crater Clavius. Clavius is a much larger crater but is also much older and a distinct difference that we see is that Clavius uh, up above Tycho in this image it has many craters within it so some craters have damaged the walls and some craters have filled the interior. So it has been around much longer. When we look at Tycho, we see that there are no craters inside it. Now that does not mean that Tycho formed yesterday or a year ago, but that uh, in terms of the moon's geology, it is relatively recent and probably formed within the last million years or so. Now the other crater being much older could have been around for many billions of years uh, because it has had plenty more time to have been impacted and we see much newer impacts on top of it. Now we can compare the relative ages of craters by looking at how worn down they are and how many other impacts they have. However, the only way to get accurate ages is to actually have a sample of material. So an actual sample will allow us to do a dating of the rock and we can then determine the actual ages. So while we can get relative ages by looking at how many craters are around and how worn down they are, we actually need the samples that were brought back by the astronauts to be able to determine the actual ages of different regions on the moon. So that was our picture of the day for August the 5th of 2021. It was titled Tycho and Clavius. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be stars and dust. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.